everybody, and welcome to TNN's Motor Madness Monster Jam. I'm your host, Dan Moyarty, and this is week two, Orlando, Florida. Last week, the monster trucks, Gravedigger, Bulldozer, taking on all comers. Well, guess what? They're in the semis, along with a little surprise entrance. This guy made it all the way. He's usually not there. If you missed last week, here's what happened. Also this week, Quad Wars. Two teams that don't like each other. Team St. Louis and the locals, Team Orlando. Also, Bike Bash. These guys are running around with no bumpers. They're a lot of fun. But let me tell you, the Monster Finals, hang around. It's something else. Ah! More importantly, my partners in the booth. Mike and Scott, how you doing? Take it away. Thanks a lot, Dan Moriarty. And after last week's excitement, it's going to be tough to top that tonight here in the Citrus Bowl in Orlando. But we are down to the semifinals, and these monster truck drivers are going to be letting it all hang out here tonight as they try to go for the title here in Florida. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Monster Jam. I'm Mike Hogwood, along with Scott Douglas. And Scott, I think we've got a great semifinal. These guys, all four of these trucks, really want to win. Absolutely. And we've got a great course, which is really going to be a true test today. A tough U-turning course takes a lot of horsepower power and handling. Obviously, the surprise is Little Tiger. Brian Barthel, though, took advantage of the situation, beat Predator to get here. Barefoot's also in. Todd Frolic back, looking good. We'll see what he's got in the semifinals. And there's no doubt Gravedigger's gonna be here in the semifinals. And what's interesting is, hey, how about Bulldozer? Made a challenge going after it last week. Well, he's here in the semifinals. Now, here's the way they're gonna pair up. And it is interesting because the big guns, if you will, the ones we've been talking about, Gravedigger, Bulldozer, they'll meet in the semifinals. That means Little Tiger and Barefoot square off with one of them getting an opportunity to go straight to the finals against the winner of that Digger-Bulldozer matchup. And we don't just have monster trucks tonight. We got Bod Wars here in Orlando, Florida. We're also gonna have a bike bash as well. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get started. I really think this crowd is pumped up we're gonna have some great action well, it's gonna be action-packed throughout the hour great monster truck semifinals of course st louis coming to town to try and knock off orlando in quad wars and we'll get down to it with some monster truck semifinals coming up next being good Never hit the brakes, right? <laughs> the power out of everything. You know, we use the terminology powering out. It's something what you do when you get down into the corner, the truck gets up on two wheels. It's a bicycle effect. You have to power out of that, which means stand in the throttle to get the truck to lay down. It, it, it's just using the horsepower to, to get back momentum. Uh, you're going up on two wheels, whether it's on your nose or your side or you're, you're straight up and down on the back. You, you try to power out of it as long as you got the room. Power out of that incorrect situation that you're into to make it a correct situation, which will then will propel you or launch you forward to keep you flat-footed to the next ramp or mogul, whatever it may be. I, I bet there ain't a driver out here that wouldn't try to power out before he goes for the brakes. I got the horsepower. I mean, everybody knows that the, the Hemi just puts out horsepower. I just got to be comfortable. Once I'm comfortable in the corner, I can generally horsepower them back to the ramp again. So for me, it's just probably like everybody getting through that corner smooth. Todd's tough. I'm just going to give him everything I got, and hopefully I can outdrive him. Because he'll out horsepower me, but I can maybe outdrive him. I'm going to have to really pour it on. And we're ready for this first semifinal race. Mike Hogwood, Scott Douglas with you. And there on the near lane is Little Tiger, the underdog here. Yeah, impressed though that Brian Barthel has given nothing to Todd Frolic and Barefoot. He admits there's a horsepower difference. He admits Barefoot's got the horses, but he's not conceding a thing. He, he said he thinks he can outdrive him. We'll find out. And again, it comes down a lot of times as we've developed on Motor Madness to how they turn. And I think Little Tiger has shown 
last week that he can get through that corner very well. He beat Predator. It, you know, Predator's never easy to knock off. So, I mean, Little Tiger didn't just exactly get a gift here. He earned his way into the semifinal round. Little Tiger, a little down on horsepower when you compare him to Barefoot. But as you said, uh, he's got the, the handling to get around and make that turn and come down. Here we go, semifinal. That is Little Tiger, the bottom of your screen, Barefoot up top. And we'll see what happens in the turn. Little Tiger's hanging in there, but Barefoot's got too much. Too much horsepower for Barefoot and Todd Frolic. And Barefoot is going to make it into the finals here in Orlando. Todd Frolic has to be really excited. Look at it again. And got Little Tiger, I thought, had a good run, just not enough horsepower. And just not enough. And Todd Frolic's really coming back strong. You know, Brian, it looks kind of harmless down there, but tell me what happened. Them two aluminum plates, they swivel upon each other and there's little runways in it for the ball switches. And if it gets a little piece of dirt in there, it'll hang the switch open. And then when you get into the corner, you're steering with the front wheels, with a steering wheel, and switching, using a toggle switch for the rear wheels, and release the switch, and go to square up and head for your target. And when it don't center up, you gotta rethink it for a split second and square it up manually. And you can't make a mistake with barefoot in the other lane. Once you go manual, you're out. Yeah, once you got to switch back to manual, like I said, you can't make a mistake against barefoot. You ran well anyways. Yeah, I'm real pleased with the way the truck's running. It's a $6 switch. I'll just try it again next week. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. That was a tough break for Little Tiger, but you got to feel good for Todd Frolic and Barefoot. We've documented in recent weeks the struggles of Todd Frolic behind the wheel of Barefoot Machine. This has got to be giving him tremendous confidence. Well, Todd's headed into the finals. He's certainly excited about this run. Well, Little Tiger and Brian, they looked good, but there was something in the rear steer, wasn't there? You seen that? I mean, I didn't see the race coming out. I talked to him. He said he was all over the place. He overcorrected himself, and I, I got an advantage. I throw the switch, and the, the rear wheels go straight. I hammer on. I grab the next gear, and they, he, he did say he had troubles coming out of the corner. Uh, we're, we're friends. I mean, we're all friends back here. That's what makes this so much fun. And uh, sorry he had to go out that way. I wish he had the rear steering, and it had been a better race. Todd Frolic in the finals. Who will he meet? We've got the big showdown coming up. Grave Digger and Bulldozer. Bulldozer has said this is his night. Will it be? Stay tuned to TNN's Motor Madness. Months to change. The Dome was the Crusher's doom last week in round one. And just when you thought the Grave Digger was out, he's back. See who claims the title in Texas. Plus, the Quad Wars points battle heats up. You won't want to miss TNN Motor Madness. Friday night at 8 Eastern and Pacific before Roller Jam on TNN. Motor Madness. Remember, you can catch this action live at Pace Motorsports Monster Jam events coming up. California, New York, Indiana, Maryland, then back up to New York and Connecticut. It's going to be a great spring and summer with Pace Motorsports Monster Jam. And the fans there will be as excited as they are here. we got a great semifinal. Straight ahead, it is Grave Digger going up against Bulldozer. Tom's running good out there, and he knows he is. He's making that turn fantastic. He's probably making that turn better than anybody else is. I just got to beat him to the turn, and then I'm going to have to run him down after I come out of the turn, because he'll definitely make that turn a lot sharper than I can. The later you get in the show, and the later the rounds get, and the more excited you get, and by the time you get to the finals, you don't care who's over there. You're going to give it all you got. Tom Mintz is ready to go, and so is Dennis Anderson. Always a favorite, the unique look of the Grave Digger. I'll tell you, if you can't get jacked over this one, then, then you're not a Monster Truck fan because this is just a heavyweight showdown. Tom Mintz has proven himself over the last couple of years to be the up-and-coming star in the sport, but now he's got to square off eyeball to eyeball with the legend, the icon, Dennis Anderson and the Grave Digger. And that 1950 Chevy panel wagon Bulldozer has a nice, intimidating look to it as well. And you see Tom Mintz strapped in there. He's certainly ready. And you know, Grave Digger has that flag that everybody's after. Hey, if he wins the flag, and ain't the fight's over, buddy. He's the flag is his, that's all I can say. 
I just got to keep my foot in it and keep him behind me and hang on to it. Grave digger may dig the graves, but bulldozer covers them over. Hey, we'll see when we get out there. We'll see what the old bull does. <laughs> Well, we're going to see right now <laughs> what that 50 like Chevy it. panel wagon can do against Bulldozer. Love the look of both of these trucks, and I think we got a good one. You know, Dennis is trying to stay as the king of the mountain, and here comes the kid who's going to try and knock him off the top, Tom Mitz. What a great showdown this sets up to be, and make no mistake about it, Tom Mitz is brimming with confidence. He believes he's going to win this race. There's never been a driver more confident, though, than Dennis Anderson. Both these guys expect to win this race, but only one's going to the finals. Todd Brolick's had a love at barefoot. Let him go after each other. You know, he's going to sit back and wait. We're in the final run here of the semifinals. Wide turn by Dennis. That hurts him. What a great turn by Tom Mintz and Bulldozer. Living up to the top. He's done it. But the crowd is stunned here. And Bulldozer and Tom Mintz, look at the excitement. How quick he jumped out of that truck. Ways to the crowd. Uh, you knew he was going to be jacked. And he comes out of there. And this is such a big race for him. And uh, believe me, Dennis Anderson will take another crack at him somewhere down the road. But tonight, Tom Mintz in the semifinals able to get him. And you see right there, Dennis swung wide and spun the wheels. And that cost him. Yeah, it was not a good turn for Gravedigger at all. And watch this. You see, the, look at Dennis Anderson. You see how much they bounce around in the cockpit. It is some work for a driver of one of these monster trucks. At this point, he knows he's beat. He was intense early, and now it's just kind of like, darn. <laughs> Tough run for Dennis Anderson. Dennis, what happened? Uh, we busted something in the differential, and uh, you can't do anything in front-wheel drive. We're going to run out here to the trailer, jack it up. Could be a ring and pinion. It might be a, a shorty axle on the outside, one of the spud axles. If it's a spud axle, we can fix it, come back and do freestyle, but I'm out of the race. All right, well, get over there and get it fixed with the guy. All right, man, thanks. You got this. That was a tough break for Dennis Anderson, but how about Bulldozer Tom Mintz? He's got to be excited. What a story. Jumping in the first time out in this truck, Tom Mintz, the new Bulldozer driver, and he looks like he was born there. Yeah, he's enjoying his ride tonight here in the Citrus Bowl. Let's hear from Tom Mintz. Tom, how does that feel? That feels great. I tell you what, I've been sitting home watching this. I've been seeing these guys win. I've been sitting there saying, I can do this. I know I can do it. That felt great. I tell you what, when I come around that corner and seen him behind me, I thought, yeah. You jumped out of your truck after the finish, and I thought you were going to jump 10 feet in the air. <laughs> I tell you what, it felt good, you know. There ain't nothing like it, you know. I tell you what, old bull's pretty tough, that's for sure. Does it feel good right now? Yeah, it does. It feels great. Ah! How about the truck? You feel good, obviously. How's the truck feel? It's looking good, thanks to Cousin Rob. He's on there thrashing on it, as always. You know, nobody ever meets Rob or sees him because he's always under the truck with a pile of tools. It's like, how's Rob look? I don't know, never saw his head. <laughs> exactly. Were you nervous at all before a race like that? No, not at all. I knew I'd been waiting for this chance, and I got that moment, and I reached out there, and I grabbed it by the horns. Barefoot in the finals, another truck that runs damn well, Todd Froelich. Yeah, Todd's a good driver. I've raced him a lot. I know a lot about him. He's good, but, you know, we've come this far, we're going all the way. I got to know something, though. This is your third race tonight, semifinals, different lane. How do you change your tactics, and also, how did you get that lane? I'll tell you exactly how I got that lane. I told Dennis to pick whatever lane he wanted. I didn't want to have no advantage on him. I gave him all the advantage he's had. He took the other lane, so I took that lane. That lane's working good, too. Not a problem going in the corner with the, your steering wheel being on the side? No, not at all. You know, everybody says, well, you must not be able to turn good right sitting on the left side. I said, I turn better right than I do left. Are you going to take Bulldozer, though, in the future and go back to center steer? No, not at all. You know, you ride over here, you know. When you're hanging on a bull like that, you know, you kind of get bucked off to one side that way. So the side steering is okay by you? That's fine by me, you know. Everybody out there, they want rear engine and center steering. Well, I got front engine and side steering. I don't seem to be doing too bad. You're doing just fine so far. Thanks a lot. Way to go, man. What a great run for Bulldozer. It'll be Bulldozer and Barefoot in the finals. We got Quad Wars coming up next. It's going to be Team Orlando and Team St. Louis, two teams that do not like each other very much at all. You want to hang around for this on Monster Jam? New Grill. The superstars of Pace Motorsports and the Monster Jam are coming to a fairgrounds or an arena or a speedway near you. Watch the great action coming up. May, June, July. It's coming at you for Pace Motorsports and the U.S. Hot Rod Association. Right. The 
This is TNN Motor Madness, where you follow the best in Pace Motorsports Monster Jam, and here's where it's coming to you live. Again, some of the great action coming up throughout the spring and the summer, including some great races up in the Northeast and even out west in California. And you know, Scott, the... Mike Hogwood and Scott Douglas back with you in Orlando at the Citrus Bowl. We're ready for... the track earlier and we actually stepped the gear up a little bit. Yeah, what it is, it's our gearbox. It's what divides the front and rear end of power to it. And it's an aluminum gear change transfer case. It's got five gears in here. We can rearrange those gears wherever we want to for different RPMs to uh, wheel speed. So I switched to a, a higher gear and I'm just hoping it's high enough. They said the track's kind of sandy, so I'm hoping to be able to with a low gear, maybe spin through the corners without hooking up, flipping over. And you keep the horsepower going and keep the tires turning, and usually you can roll on through them. We got a whole set of different gears in the trailer that you can put in there. You can go lower or, or taller in the gear ratio. Two gears in there. One's little, one's big. And you can actually put the big one on top, go faster, more top speed. With the little one on top, you got more bottom end. And a, a track like this, you know, we'll probably gear up a little bit for it, but it's good hook and play. We'll be able to hold the hold the one gear that you have in the transmission a little bit longer before you shift to the next one. This way, you'll get full bite. You'll be able to leg the big motor out. Good hook and play, big tall gears, brings mile per hour into play. Still to come, we've got our quad war finals. Each team, Team St. Louis, Team Orlando, have won one heat. The deciding heat is coming up on TNN's Motor Madness Monster Jam. Hang around. for our bike final. If you remember in our qualifying, he... Dust Gunslinger, who had won two of our TNN Motor Madness events earlier in 1999. Then he moved on to take on one of the old veterans at Carolina Crusher, and again, comfortable win for Bulldozer. But the semifinals, Mike, was where he was really impressive against Gravedigger. Oh, yeah, and Gravedigger, he had been pointing to this matchup uh, since we had arrived here in Orlando and really beat him in the turn, and it was Bulldozer moving on to the finals. Bulldozer and Barefoot, they're in the finals of our monster truck action, and we'll have it for you coming up next on TNN's Motor Madness. truck action. What a great contrast. You've got Bulldozer, Tom Mintz, first time out in this machine. He wants to prove to the world that he's going to be the man. But Barefoot, Todd Paul, 
to be one of the most legendary machines the sport's ever seen. Has been coming back strong tonight. Bulldozer with a great start. And here's the key, the turn. And Mitch does it again. Boy. Tom Mintz did a great job in the turn, and Bulldozer, Tom Mintz, they are winners here. And the he, crowd loves it. He just flattened that bull at the end. He's going to celebrate a long time. Tom Mintz and Bulldozer, as he's been saying, he's been watching us every week on Motor Madness, chomping at the bit. He got the chance to get in the Bulldozer machine, and look at this, one night undefeated. And a little freestyle from our two finalists here. Fans love this part of it, too. Look at these guys. Just coming out right now just for the fans and letting them see them a little more, letting them get those cameras out so they can click off all the pictures they want. And Barefoot goes flying, and here comes Bulldozer. you got to love freestyle at a Pace Motorsports event. I'll give Todd Frolic some credit, too. He, yes. had a, he had a great night here tonight. He sure did, and he struggled over the last yeah. few weeks, as we've seen. It's great to see Todd back in the finals and very close to pulling off the victory here in Orlando, but Mitz was just not to be denied tonight. You know, Tom is uh, maybe not going to be the guy who grabs the biggest share of that $100,000 Pace Motorsports point fund, but he's sure getting the biggest share of the cheers with that donut. Doing some nice 360s. Both guys getting a little air, going up over the crush cars. And a lot of chances, as you said, folks to get the cameras out and uh, get some pictures of these two uh, fine monster trucks and their drivers. They're putting on a show here. <laughs> Whoa! Kick up some dust, boys. And they love it. Listen to the crowd. They just absolutely enjoy this. You know, Tom Mintz obviously is not a player for this year's championship, and I think he's trying to send out a message in 2000, boys. Watch, watch out for the bull. Yeah, watch out. This is some fun freestyling action right here. Let's enjoy it with the rest of the fans here in Orlando. championship battle and it was in the turn Scott on well, barefoot ran a great race but Mintz has just had this course in his hip pocket all night long lots of power and a great turning radius now barefoot as you can see turned well we know barefoot's got a lot of horsepower this was just Tom Mintz's night Todd Frolic got nothing to be ashamed of a good run Dan Moriarty caught up with Todd Frolic one heck of a job you made the finals you're back on top you're running well sure he beat you but you ran a heck of a race yeah i knew i had to run hard if i was going to have any chance of getting up to tom and i looked over in the corner he had me so my mind was already to freestyle it's like all right now what do we do and talk about freestyle that was the best part of the show i thought man i'm just gonna hang right here behind him and hope he don't screw up my land on him or something I think the fans liked it. I mean, we got to do more of that, huh? You think the fans liked it? <laughs> that brought the house down. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're here to do. I, 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 you can talk about the points. You can tell us about the racing. I'm here to freestyle, man. And you talk about the fans. You ran up there and just shook some hands, didn't you? <laughs> they love it, don't they? Another neck brace. Thanks to RCI, one of our sponsors. I appreciate it. They keep giving them to me. I'm going to keep throwing them. Great job. It's good to see you back in the finals. Oh, uh, it felt good. It felt good. You can tell. It felt good, man. Where do you go, Todd? You're back. Thank you. Todd talking about yeah. throwing that neck brace up that he does after every race. The yeah. fans do love that. They do indeed. And one of the really great guys in this sport. And here's Bulldozer. What a thrill for Tom Mintz. What a great run. Dan Moriarty has our man Tom, champ tonight. Well, your first time back, and you're back on the podium, baby. That feels like normal. I'll tell you that. It's been great, you know. Been a great night of racing. Feels great to be back. We come down here with one thing in mind, and I'll tell you what, we got mission accomplished. Well, you know, we do have the checkered flag that the guys have been passing around. Dennis has it now. I have a funny feeling when I see you again, it'll be in the back of this truck. That's right. He's going to have a lot to deal with, you know. This thing's running good, and we're having fun. That's the best part about it. What a way to debut. I mean, and not only did you win, the fans seem to get off more in the freestyle. Yeah, they do. You know, we always have fun doing that. Todd's a great one to do it with. You know, you get two good guys out there, it looks really well. Oh, it looked like you guys had choreographed it. <laughs> yeah, I know. We need radios in there to talk back and forth so we don't hit one another. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you did some close calls. When you start radioing each other, it's going to look too good. <laughs> no, definitely, man. I had to thank my crew guy, Rob Nail, my wife, my daughter, my dad. 
Everybody help us get this thing back together. Pace Motorsports, United States Hot Rod Association. One hell of a run. Yeah, I tell you what, it was great, man. What a way to start off. We'll see you again. Thank you. You got it. Oh, great night for Tom Mintz. And here's our Maalox Bennett. And it came in our collision course feature. What a ride by Monster Patrol here. Yeah, watch what happens as he comes down on the back wheels and gets it over sideways. A lot of work in the body shop for our old buddy Paul Schaefer here. That was a wild ride. What a night. The Quad Wars home team wins. Bike Bash number one seed wins. And what can I say about the man behind me? Ah! The bulldozer comes through. He said he won the checkered flag. He got the checkered flag. He takes Digger out in the semis. Todd Froelich and Barefoot in the finals. Bulldozer's back. Bulldozer's bad. Tom Mintz is all he was ever cracked up to be. Ah! For now, TNN's Motor Madness Monster Jam. We're saying goodbye from Orlando. Mike, Scott, say goodbye. See ya. We follow instructions well. Yeah, we do. Heading right. for the Music City next week. I can't wait. Yeah, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Scott Douglas. I'm Mike Hogwood. Thanks for being with us tonight on TNN's Motor Madness Monster Jam. We'll see you next Friday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So long, everybody.